So I did a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I bought myself a luxury bag for my 26th birthday. My birthday is May 14th, but I did buy this pre-loved. So when you see the bag that you want at the price that you want in the condition that you want, if you're familiar with the pre-loved market, you kind of got to snatch it up. I ordered it from Fashion File. So with Fashion File, you do have a 30 day return period. So I have to open it now just to make sure I don't want to return it. So I can't wait until my birthday. So we are going to do this unboxing live. I will get into this video of course about details of the bag and then as well as why I went pre-loved with this specific bag and give you a few of the tips that I've learned because I never thought I would buy pre-loved and why I decided to do that but first let's get into the unboxing okay it is my first YSL bag I haven't even opened it yet so I wanted to do this on camera Ugh. so I have it in a box I picked it up today from Neiman Marcus and by the way if you're new here I am not a purse channel. <laughs> I am a makeup channel, mostly high-end and luxury, but I do have a big interest in bags, and you guys on Instagram seem to also share the same interest as me, so I figured, you know, I post pretty much every day on my channel, so what's a handbag video every now and then, you know? I think it's fun for those of you that are interested, and if you're not, don't worry. The makeup content will continue as usual, but this is so special for me. Oh my gosh. So like I said, I did order this from Fashion File, which is a pre-loved bag site. So they do box the stuff up really nice as well. So that is great. I have details on the bag and how much I spent here. They gave me a nail file <laughs> that says, I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet. And then let's see, we have a return label, which is really great. I love that even though these bags are pre-loved, you can still return them if they aren't to your liking. I have a fashion file calendar, cute. What is in this? I've never ordered from fashion file before, so. This is new to me. Another cool thing about Fashion File is they will buy the bag back from you for, it says, when you're ready, simply click the sell back link in your Fashion File account for up to 75% of the purchase price, which is really cool if I do decide I want to sell this. Okay, so we have it right here. The box is wrapped in a Fashion File dust bag. And then one of the selling points for me about this particular bag that I saw online is it came with the original Saint Laurent box. On the Fashion File website, they will tell you if it comes with it or not. And this was part of the selling point to me for this particular bag is I like the box, okay? I know it sounds stupid, but <laughs> I do like the box. All right, you guys, are you ready? Isn't she so beautiful? So here's the chain that I was talking about that is not going to fit me, but I will try this on for you guys. This is the Sheepskin Metalis Chevron Monogram Medium College bag in black. So I bought this in a very good condition. There's a slight crease right here, but that's really all I'm noticing. Maybe a little bit of wear in the corners, but I mean, I feel like I'd get to this point pretty fast if I bought this bag myself, which is why I was okay with getting it used because it still looks really, really nice. The only thing is I'm going to see if I can work this out right here, but this is the bag. I think it is so beautiful. This is exactly Exactly what I wanted and was hoping the bag to look like in person. It is not too big. The dimensions of this is nine inches in length, six inches in height, two and a half inches in width, a two and a half inch drop with the top handle, and then with the crossbody option, it is a 22 inch drop. So if you buy this bag brand new, it is going to be $2,490. I bought this for $1,795. So just about a $700 price difference. And when I thought about it logically, the $700 price difference was worth it because I felt like this still looked pretty good, especially since the chain is most likely not going to fit me and the resale value on this it just didn't make sense to me. I saw a lot of these online that you can get at an even better price, literally 50% off, but anyways. So here's what it looks like. You, I definitely wanted to have the gold hardware. I was stuck between if I wanted a lighter color or a darker color, but I am very happy that I ended up with the darker color. And then there is a space right here that you can put stuff in, and then you open it up. 
It is a button closure. Then you have a nice well here. And then you have a zipper where you can put more stuff here. So it is split into two. I would say I probably would wish that this was just one big well, but that's fine. And then there also is a card slot right here. And then it says Saint Laurent right here. And I think that this is so beautiful. I think she is so pretty and so classy looking. So let's see how it looks. For reference, you guys, I am only 4'11", so I am very small. I'm going to try this on. I'm going to switch over to my phone camera so that you can see full body how we're looking. This is the size of it against my body. Like I said, I'm very petite, so this is like the perfect size for me, I would say. They do sell this in a larger size, but I definitely don't regret it. This is like a perfect everyday size for me. So here's the strap. You'll see there's a leather piece at the top and it matches the gold of the YSL logo. Honestly, this is not a bad length for me at all. Do I prefer it a little shorter? Sure, but for my size, it's not bad. I actually feel comfortable using this strap if I do plan on using this crossbody. So I'm not even mad at this at all. While I would prefer it a little shorter, I definitely am not mad about this, you guys. Yay, I'm so happy. This bag has definitely passed my wear test. I'm very happy with it as of now. I definitely don't plan on returning it. I think it is so beautiful, so classy. I chose to go with this bag in particular over the Lulu because that one does have a strap that is adjustable because I specifically wanted a top handle bag from YSL and that is the top handle bag that they had. It was everything that I wanted in a YSL bag but I couldn't pay full price because of the crossbody strap not being adjustable. So let me go into why I chose to go pre-loved and what I've learned from buying my first pre-loved bag. I never thought I would buy pre-loved. Like I said, I thought it, part of buying a bag was the luxury experience. But when I started to do research on this bag, when I figured out that the crossbody strap wasn't adjustable, I took a step back. This was my favorite bag looks wise from YSL, but did I want to pay $2,500? dollars for a bag that I wasn't 100% happy with. I needed an adjustable strap. So that was the first time I've ever started looking into buying pre-loved. And what I found when I started looking was you can get this bag for a really great value. I don't think it is one of YSL's most popular bags, which I am fine with. It was my favorite looks wise, but I saw a couple listings that you could literally get this bag for $1,200. That's 50% off the retail price. Now those bags are not in the bag best of shape. But you can get this bag for literally 50% off and I saw there were numerous listings. So that's when I decided, oh yeah, I don't need to pay full price for this. I can save at least $700, which is a lot. I have my dad's birthday coming up, my husband's birthday coming up, and Mother's Day coming up. I was like, you know what? Let me save a little bit of money because I felt as though if I could buy a bag in a condition that I feel like I would probably put it in myself anyways, I didn't really mind if it saved me that much money, especially if the strap wasn't to my liking. Yeah, so the resale value on this isn't the greatest, but I'm okay with that because I love the look of the bag. So then once I started doing even more research, I found Fashion File, which is what I chose to order from because one of the things that I've always worried about was buying a bag that wasn't authentic and thinking I'm getting something that I'm not. And I am not a luxury expert. I cannot tell a real bag from a fake bag. So I decided to go with Fashion File. The number one reason is because they are backed by Neiman Marcus. I literally picked this bag up at Neiman Marcus. I didn't want it sent to my apartment because it's kind of expensive and my delivery at this apartment has been a little hit or miss. I was able to have this shipped to Neiman Marcus, which I was really, really happy about and I went and picked it up today. So of course, you know, Neiman Marcus does not want that on their name that they are selling fake bags. So their partnership with Neiman Marcus was the number one reason I felt the most comfortable. I also decided to go with Fashion File because they do have a 30-day return policy. So if you're not happy with the bag that you get, 
you can return it. I cannot say the same for some of the other more popular resale websites. And I definitely wanted to go with the one with the best reputation and I think that was Fashion File and it does have like 100% authenticity certified. And if something were to ever happen where it was not authentic, they would fully refund you and take care of you even after the 30 day period. So through the research that I've done, the people that I've talked to, uh, the YouTube channels that I watched online, everybody is pretty secure about Fashion File, has never had issues. So that's why I chose to go with them. So moral of the story, I do not plan on buying pre-loved bags all the time, but if you find that there's something not perfect about the bag, you're unable to get it, or maybe the resale value just isn't there, so you're able to get it at a better price. I definitely have had a great experience with Fashion File. They called me the day after I ordered to confirm that this is the bag that I ordered and to confirm where I wanted it shipped to, so customer service was great. So I am very happy with my purchase. I'm very happy with my bag, and I'm so excited. I will not be buying luxury, luxury, like designer house purses very often, but I really wanted to treat myself to a luxurious bag and I'm super happy with this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Welcome to my new handbag journey. I'm really, really into it now that I have like adult money. So I might throw in the occasional purse unboxing or review every now and then. Let me know if you guys are liking these videos. Thank you so much for watching this and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.